Well, guys, a little different setting today. I'm in my uh, office here inside the house. I'm going to quickly show you how I, well, not really how I do it anymore, but the cheapest, most efficient way of electro etching your logo or yeah, serial numbers or anything in a knife or really any steel. So what you're going to need, this is kind of my setup at least, is a 9-volt battery. You're going to need to go, I mean, I kind of piece this together, but one of these little alligator clips, a smaller alligator clip, alleg <laughs> alligator clip, and then a red and a black one, which I think I bought those ones. But And basically, you need a little section of wire as well, maybe a couple foot, three foot. So what you do is you take your red positive, put it on your positive, your black on your negative, and then you run your positive to a bigger clip, your negative to a smaller clip, okay? Super easy, super simple. Should only cost you a couple bucks to get it set up. The next thing you need is a little thing with, this says boiling hot water and about a tablespoon of just regular salt, table salt, okay? And then I've got some Q-tips in here soaking and I kind of stir it up a little bit and get them to where they are. Uh, it's kind of all combined there. So that's next step. Q-tip, water, super simple, okay? The uh, biggest part of this is you also need a way to get your logo or whatever it is on a piece of paper. Now you can't really see it, but... I have a, um, it's called a Cricut machine, and I think they're, I don't remember, 100 bucks or something like that, and it makes it to where you can print out your own stencils and all that stuff, whatever size, so you can see here, I uh, just print out sheets of them, and you can't, eh, you can't really see it in the video, the lighting's not very good in here, but I just print out sheets of them, you can also search around on Facebook or whatever, and people can do it for you, it's not very much money, um, but that's pretty much what you need. The next step, I'll uh, probably do this knife right now, which is my mini scout. And I will show you real quick uh, how I prep it. I might just do this all without changing the camera here. So this has some oil on it right now. And uh, you've got to clean it really good. So get all the oil off of it before you get your sticker on there. And uh, what I use is just a little bit of lacquer thinner on a lint-free rag. And you want to make sure that that spot, where you, wherever you're putting your logo at, is super clean. And so that sticker, or that vinyl stencil, will stick to it. And it doesn't... Uh, pop up or anything like that because what happens is if you go to etch this and some of it's not sticking to the steel it will uh that solution will leak through and stain the steel so basically I, you can see it i i peeled the sticker portion away and then we're going to peel this backer off okay so you can see i've got my little logo right there. I'm going to very carefully try to center it on here, which you can't really see here, but that's okay. You get the idea. Make sure you get it really good and centered or else it'll look really bad. Yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, so there you can see I've got Got it right, it's backwards and weird looking, but that's right where it goes here on my knives. And I didn't really stick it down very hard yet. <clears throat> what you need to do is take a little bit of painter's tape. And I'm gonna actually change how the camera's pointed right now to show this. Okay, so here you can see the stencil's on there. I've got it taped up really good. And I've pressed down really hard along all of these areas so that liquid doesn't uh, leak behind that, okay? That's key, key, key. Uh, or else it'll totally mess up the whole blade. 
So hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm doing. I'm sorry the lighting is horrible in here. I don't ever do videos in here because of that. But what you take is your small clip, okay? And this is actually the, let me think before I tell you. This is the positive side of your battery, okay? And you're going to want to clip that on the blade just like that. I just You can clip it, clip it anywhere where there's steel. Let's see, I'm trying to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing a little bit at least. You're going to want to take one of your Q-tips. That's These are really wet. Stick it on your other clamp, okay, like that. See what I'm doing? And you want this pretty wet, but not like to where it's dripping wet. And all you're going to do is, and you can't really see it very good. But you stick it on that exposed steel. And you can actually hear it. Let me know if you guys can hear that in the comments. But it's actually etching that steel just like that. Now, the problem with doing it this way is it's somewhat tricky to get an even etch. And what happens is sometimes it's a little glotchy or uh, deeper in certain spots. What I find helps is just use a fresh 9-volt battery. Make sure that water is really hot and you use a lot of salt. And once you've etched, you can kind of see how long I'm doing it too. I'm, I'm not going to edit this at all. This is just kind of how long it takes. And I'm kind of just going up and down, making sure it gets it all. And, and you guys, it's probably hard to see right there, but it's nice and dark. And what I always do is I take my Q-tip off. I dunk it in the water. Put it back on the clean side here and just do a couple light passes okay over what you did really light not much pressure and you can still hear it sizzling a little bit but that normally evens it out okay and just take a paper towel and wipe it and look at it and right now it's uh, pretty good. So let me see if I can show you guys a little bit. So there you can see it's in there. I always just take a little bit of oil because if you don't oil this spot, it will rust a little bit. So we'll rub it with oil with your finger. Peel your tape off and your stencil. Okay and see what you got. And there you go. Your logo's on there, and it's pretty even. Let me switch the camera around and show you guys. All right, so there you go. It's kind of hard to show, but you can see right there, it's nice and even, and you can feel it with your fingernail. It etches pretty deep in there. And it's a nice crispy line there as long as you stick your sticker down really, really good. That's something you need to clean the blade really good, get that vinyl stuck really good, and you'll end up with a good etch. And for about, you know, however much that costs, about $2 instead of buying one of those electro etching machines or whatever you want to do. So this works good. I wanted to share this little trick really quick for today's video. And uh, hopefully... You guys learn something so there you go guys if you uh, have any questions about doing this feel free to put them in the comments below and uh, it's Friday at about six o'clock right now I'm kind of ending my day and thought man I didn't make a video this week so this was something I get asked about a lot and um, figured I'd do a quick quick little tutorial on an easy cheap way of etching your logo in knives. So hopefully that helps you guys out a little bit. Like I said, drop a comment below. Let me know if you have any questions or if you have any other things you want me to cover in future videos. That's really, really important. I'm running out of ideas. So drop them below in the comments and thanks for watching.